Hello guys, today we're going to be replacing this Badger garbage disposal because it's all corroded as you can see and it's getting stuck a lot and we're going to install this new GE garbage disposal so stay tuned. Welcome to DIY Repair Now, read all the warnings and during this video you will see one or more of these icons to help you do this repair safe. So as you can see this is an old corroded um, garbage disposal brand badger um, it's very similar to the whirlpool i don't know if it's made by whirlpool or not but as you can see it's all corroded and the complaint is that it's getting stuck a lot so we're gonna go we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the garbage disposal to prevent electric shock and now we're gonna go ahead and detach the old garbage disposal and at this point i located my camera in a point where I can see what I'm doing on the top of the garbage disposal. And as you can see right there in this footage, when you turn counterclockwise, this thing will slip out. And when this point gets to this uh, other side, it will fall from everything. So you gotta grab it with your two hands or have somebody to help you. Um, that way it doesn't just fall on the floor or in the piping. However, go ahead and disconnect all the tubing in this scenario the tubing is in the back so i don't have a good footage but just keep watching at the end of the video you will see how i connected and disconnect the tubing as well or the uh, pvc pipe so as you can see right there i'm managing to get the uh, the attachment from the uh, p-trap but i didn't get it in the camera because uh it was a very tight spot but you will see how it is at the end of the video. You can just follow the video to be able to connect it and disconnect it. Go ahead and remove the water from the P-trap. Always be prepared for water to spill out. And we're gonna go ahead and remove the old garbage disposal out of the way to begin install the new GE. Now, I really like to use Whirlpools because Whirlpool is very similar to this brand. But the thing is, they were out of stock for some reason whirlpool is the most popular one because it has like a little key on the bottom that when it gets stuck the homeowners can go ahead and unlock it and it will start working again and this is a ge and i believe this one does not have that mechanism where you can get it on stock with uh, any type of l range tool or anything like that because i look at it underneath and i don't see anywhere where you know the homeowners can get it on you know unclogged or on get it uh, detached when it's um stuck so this is the new that's how you remove it to be able to get all the stuff out as you see it has a like a three male to female connections all the way around the metal ring and that's how we're going to go ahead and install it this is the uh, metal clamp that holds the drain pipe in place and the metal pipe should bring a gasket and it's already in place so you don't have to put it in in the pipe because it's already there maybe you can see it right there and it's right in the bottom of that metal clamp that i just put inside the pipe that just make sure that piece of rubber gasket it's in place because otherwise it will start leaking now go ahead and install with a flat head screwdriver the two screws that holds this drain pipe in place and like i said i think you can use another type of uh, drill bit as well but i'm just using the flat head because it was more handy for me so you get the idea you know once you got it in place go ahead and tight it very well that way there's no leaks and again make sure the gasket is in place now once you do that just go ahead and uh, disassemble this piece to be able to install it in the sink that piece that you see me put away that will be inside and we put that on the last this is the gasket for the um, garbage disposal which is very important and this is what i like about this garbage disposal that it brings a gasket a rubber gasket not like the whirlpools that you have to go to home depot or reuse the old putty 
plumbing putty and put it around um, around the uh, that metal ring. As you see, I'm looking for anything that you know if it's similar to the whirlpool to get it in stock. But I believe you can just take a screwdriver there if it gets in stock. Be careful with sharp edges. And this is another thing: if you got a, a dishwasher, go ahead and pop the hole right there because in this hole is where the dishwasher will drain out. So in this in this scenario, the uh, the dishwasher drains on the uh, other side um, in the other side of the sink so I don't have to pop the dishwasher access on the garbage disposal I mean I could just put it on the dishwasher but as you can see the clear pipe is the drain for the dishwasher and it's just going to the next drain most of the time it does go to the garbage disposal so you have to pop that hole at this point, I'm trying to remove a ring. It's like a metal ring that is holding that metal bracket on the top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get a little more loose to be able to have access and remove that metal ring that is preventing this piece from coming off. This is this part that I'm removing is from the old garbage disposal and I just wanna put everything new. This is what I was trying to remove. Just use like a flathead screwdriver and it will come out. Now this other piece that you see right there, which is metal as well, normally that will come right off, but some somebody, instead of using a putty knife, use a silicone. So that's why this piece is really stuck in there and it's giving me a hard time to remove it from the old uh, drain metal uh, attachment right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this piece, this uh, part of the video because like I said, I have to wiggle it, but I decided to leave this part of the video because, you know, maybe one of you will run in the same situation with somebody instead of use putty, uh, plumbing putty, they, um, they use silicone and you might run into that situation. Now, right now, I'm just trying to go ahead and break this loose. And this is like a, another, it's like a cardboard, um, ring now this is the new piece and remember that the uh, rubber rubber gasket needs to be this rubber gasket right there needs to be in place once you install this part so just go ahead and make sure that's in place and you know put the other piece on the bottom as you can see I'm putting first the, it's like a carbon a ring that's just to make the uh, the knot a slice the way it's supposed to and then go ahead and install this uh, I believe it's like three inch knot that is securing this part in place and just turning clockwise until it's really really tight because remember, in the other side, the gasket is what is gonna do the job to prevent from leaking. As you see, it's getting tight right there. And once you put a little bit of torque on it, the gasket, you know, is gonna do its job in the other side, like I mentioned before. This is what you do. Very self-explanatory. If you have any other, um, concerns just look at the diagram right now I'm putting the other metal ring that is going to hold the actual um, garbage disposal and the gasket now go ahead and look at the diagram to notice how the gasket is in place because a couple times I have installed it backwards and the garbage disposal will not fit in so just make sure you put that gasket between this garbage disposal and the metal ring the way it's supposed to. And then when you got it in place, just put something underneath the garbage disposal to help you hold it in place. Maybe a whole bunch of towels or a little bucket because it's kind of hard to hold it in place and do this by yourself. So just look for some kind of support underneath to help you put it in place. And then just twist it as you saw right there. Once you got it in place, 
um, and you twist that metal ring, it will have like a little lock mechanism. I'm sorry, but I have very poor lighting here. And, you know, some of this footage is not really, really good. But this is what I was telling you guys that I, I miss how I take off this part of the pit trap at the beginning of the video. But here it is where you can just follow this footage and that will tell you exactly how to adjust everything. Remember that once you got the garbage disposal in place, you can still twist it and adjust all the tubing and everything, but you gotta be careful, try not to um, twist it too much and then create a leak. Once you got this P trap in place, go ahead and tie, you know, hand tie, but try not to over tighten it because you can um, damage the thread and it was trip and then you would have to go to Home Depot or Lowe's to get a replacement uh, P-trap. Now we got everything in place. We're gonna go ahead and plug the garbage disposal and that's how you install a GE garbage disposal. Everything turned on pretty good. As you see right there, it has like a red button in case one day you need to reset it, but it just doesn't have the uh, on lock mechanism like the Whirlpools. Now this is the last piece that is going inside there. And this is the hole that you need to pop for the drain, uh, for the dishwasher drain, as you saw in that footage right there. If you need to see it better, just go back and play it again. Okay. And now, just be prepared for water to spill down just in case um, you have any leaks. But at this point, I don't have any leaks and this was a success. Thanks for watching.